Hello, I'm Helen from Journal With Purpose and welcome to my latest video. I've got something that I'm just so excited to share with you today. I've been working on this behind the scenes for about the last six months or so and today's finally the day that I can tell you all about it. So I am launching a brand new product range and I'm working with Creative Expressions on this. And this is just a dream come true for me. Creative Expressions products are stocked in shops pretty much all over the world. So knowing that hopefully if you're interested, you'll be able to find some close to you is just so wonderful. And all the time when I've been designing these products, I've been thinking about how I'd want to use them in my journals and hopefully lots of lovely ways to bring some creative elements and designs onto our journal pages. But the products are also really versatile, so if you enjoy other paper crafts and card making, anything like that, I'm hoping you'll be able to use them in those too. And this has been quite a learning curve for me because some of the types of products in this range I haven't designed myself before. So I've had to learn a lot as I've been going along, but I've so, so enjoyed it. Unfortunately, I've had lots of help from Creative Expressions as well, whilst I've been trying to work out some of that design side. So I'm not going to keep it waiting any further. I'm really excited and quite nervous. But so in this video, I'm going to share with you the different products I've designed and how I've started using them in my journals. And there'll definitely be lots of tutorials and demonstrations to come. So I really hope you enjoy seeing everything. So I'm going to start off by sharing the stamps with you. There are four sets in this collection. The first one is called Beautiful Bouquet and there's eight stamps in this set. I absolutely loved designing these. It's one of my favourite styles of being able to get some botanicals onto my page. We've then got Blooming Marvellous Again, lots more flowers and also leaf shapes as well. Then we've got foliage collection and these ones are designed so that you can put a full block of colour on these stamps here and then stamp in a different coloured ink over the top. And I will share with you some pages that I've created as well in a moment. And then also we've got some hand lettered days of the weeks, months and then quite common phrases to use in journals. So after those we've got two sets of washi tape. One of them is floral fantasy and one is leafy walk. So there are three washi tapes in each of the boxes. So we've got one wide one and then two narrower tapes. And then this is the other set. And I've tried to pick colours so that they can be easily kind of put together. So if you wanted a thick strip with this and then add one of the thinner green ones over the top, that will look really nice together. And to coordinate alongside those, we've also got the Country Garden paper pad. I love using papers as backgrounds in my journals, also great for doing die cutting with. And these will all tie in with the different stamps and washi tapes so that you know everything will work well together in your journal. So there's six different designs in there and six of each of those. I then got some stencils. It was my first time ever designing stencils, so it was definitely a learning curve for me, but I'm so pleased with how these turned out. So we've got Tulip Triumph here, and I absolutely love those. Just nice, delicate flowers and leaves to be able to add on your page. We've then got Floral Daydream. This one's probably my favourite of the stencils. I absolutely love it and have already used it in quite a few of my journal pages. And then we've got some more kind of background stamps. 
one here called Leafy Trails and then the Star Lily Field. So great for using, say, as backgrounds that you want to be able to write on top of. And then we're going to finish off again something quite new for me in terms of how to design them and I absolutely love how these have come out. So we've got three sets of dies and this one is Flower Garden. And you can see in the back, a lot of these dies come in two pieces, which I absolutely love being able to layer those pieces on top of each other. And we've then got a leafy wreath, which I thought would be lovely for things like a cover page in your journal or to add a quote inside. And then we've got another selection of leaves as well, which I absolutely love using in my journals. And where you've got things like these sorts of dies, they'll also coordinate and fit in with the stamps. So if you wanted to die cut some of these flowers and then stamp on top, they're all sized so that they'll work perfectly on top of each other. So with some of the journal pages that I've created so far, so this was using the tulip stencil there and using some different coloured distress inks through it. And then I've used one of my pattern pages here on the left hand side and these are the dies where I've layered two different papers so that you can see the background coming through and I added some distress ink around the edge of those but again they were cut out using one of the papers from the paper pack and then I add one of the washi tapes along there as well. And in this one, again, I used that tulip stencil, so I created a watercolour background and then used some black acrylic ink uh, paint through the stencil. And I then used one of the background stencils here so that I could write on top of it. Again, did a little bit more die cutting, again with the two layers there. For this page I used some texture paste through my stencil and then I did some stamping in different coloured inks and then coloured those in in pencil. I think on top of that uh, texture paste I actually used gelatos for the colour and then some gel pens. And then again that tulip stencil and this time I used watercolour through it and again then used one of the washi tapes along the side on that border. I've just got a couple more to show you. So again the tulip stamp and this time with texture paste through it and some die cut elements around the outside of that collage. And then I did the leafy wreath as well there with the leaf stenciling on the background. And for this I used Distress Ink through the stencil and then did some stamping and masking along the top and bottom of that page. And then finally I used one of the thicker washi tape, so this one here, and tore it along the middle because I really love the look of those torn edges. And then I did some stamping with those block stamps for the colour. And then I used these stamps on top to add the details. And I also did some stamping with the days of the week onto separate pieces of card and glued those in. So I really, really hope you've enjoyed seeing the different products I've designed and how I've started using them. I'm definitely going to be filming some more demonstrations here for my YouTube channel and just show lots of different ways that you could use these products. I'm just so excited to be able to share them with you. It's been many months kind of behind the scenes working on these. So I absolutely love that I'm now able to share them with you. And I'll of course leave links down below for where you can find these products if you're interested in checking them out. Well, thank you ever so much for being here. I hope you're doing really well. I look forward to speaking with you really soon in my next video.